Hey everyone, Rob back here with Falker Sports Cards, and today I've got some of the new 2024 Bowman Retail Blaster Boxes. So uh, it's been a little bit, um, haven't really been buying uh, much product to open up uh, ever since the baseball season started. Products from previous years have just been shooting up, you know, based on how people have been playing and just haven't been able to find any good deals that I'm that I'm willing to pull the trigger on. So, uh, yeah, it's been a little hiatus here for opening uh, up some stuff, but I got these from Walmart.com. Uh, uh, I guess it's early, right? Because uh, I guess it releases tomorrow, uh, Wednesday. This is Tuesday. So I got five blasters here. Um, I'm not going to buy any hobby or jumbos of this stuff. It's just way too expensive. Uh, and considering what this was $150 worth, this is about what half of a regular hobby box. And I, I'm, I mean, if it's like any, if it's anything like last year's Bowman, uh, blasters, we should get an auto out of here. And that's essentially what you get out of a $300, um, hobby box. So yeah, I'm going to be sticking with retail here. So I got five. I don't know if I'm going to be doing all five in this video. We'll see how long it is and uh and how long it takes but let's start with this one right here so i'm really excited for this uh bowman's a big release every single year obviously uh not so much into bowman chrome uh but bowman and bowman draft uh very much into so let's go ahead and get into this i think it's the same configuration as it's as it's been for previous years it's um what six packs get what two chrome prospects some rookies some veterans uh chrome paper i mean um chrome paper uh um prospect paper and stuff oh, i gotta put this down sorry guys i was I had it up because the uh uh the boxes were high all right so let's get into this and see what we can get all right so this is my first time seeing it i've watched only like one or two people open this stuff so uh seeing it in person it looks pretty nice actually uh, i like the design uh not so big on the huge border but uh you know it is what it is i my favorite design was uh was 2022 bowman i think that was my favorite design so obviously we're looking for the rookies and you're probably going to get what about an insert every single pack or so. So this is Tyler Black, top 100. I like what they look like this year. That's pretty cool. Put that down there. Uh, here's some firsts. And these are non-first uh, prospect cards. And here's our Chrome. Chromes look pretty good. Uh, they look pretty stock, pretty standard. Nothing, nothing too out of the ordinary here. Uh, so no first Chrome there. Let's keep it moving. <clears throat> Looks like we got something green in here. Now I know that the uh, the Lunars are, are very green this year, so that's probably what that is. But we shall see. Yeah, I think that's the uh, the green Lunar. That's Rock uh, Riggio. I think he was a uh, first Bowman last year. Uh, yeah. So yeah, this is the green. This is the uh, the the Lunar Crater Crater Lunar, whatever it's called. Uh, they look pretty. They look, they look better than last year. I'll give it that. I'll definitely give it that. They look better than last year. All right, still no first chrome. Obviously, we're looking for the first chromes, and we're looking for, uh, you know, any of the big guys. I really only know the top couple guys, honestly. Here comes another green. Here comes a green. Oh, that's going to, uh, never mind. I know what that is because uh, of the one box that I did see opened. It's the uh, Rookie of the Year insert, Marco Luciano. All right. There's a Walker, Walker Jenkins first. That's nice. Definitely be sleeving that up later. I'll be sleeving up all the firsts. Still no uh, Chrome first. All right, let's keep moving. I know that they added in some uh, the spotlights this year. I think the remember the spotlights from last year. They were really cool inserts. They decided to make those kind of uh, really chase chase cards this year. It seems like uh, from what I'm hearing, which is pretty cool. Top one hundred of Zavala, number sixty three. Paul Skeens, that's nice. He's been tearing it up. Uh, there's our, our our first first. Uh, Chrome, pitcher. All right. Let's see what else we can get here. Looks like we've got something shiny coming up. <clears throat> well, that's a cool looking insert. Walker Jenkins there, cool. Uh, I don't know what this is called, honestly, uh, but that is a cool looking insert. Um, BAI, I'm not sure what that stands for. I'd have to look at the checklist. I haven't uh, haven't really looked at the checklist too hard yet, so. Tony Blanco. So so far, only one first Chrome. Interesting. All right, last pack here. Mauricio rookie. Nice. I don't think he's going to be able to come back this year, which kind of sucks. But obviously, he was hurt in spring uh, before spring training. 
Oh, that's pretty cool. It's a Prospect Power Ups. Is that a, a blue or is that just a, no, just a straight up insert. It's a Roman Anthony. Pretty cool. He's a, he's a big prospect, I think. All right. So uh, no, nothing numbered or anything in that first box. Let's go on to box number two. Let's see, where are we at? Five minutes? Oh, yeah. Might be able to get all five of them in here. But they're going to go this quick. One thing I really wish that Tops would do is put the odds back on the packs. I mean, there's so much empty space here. They could easily just print the odds. Like how, it's not like that should cost a lot of money to be able to do, right? They're already printing all this other stuff on it. Why not just put the dang odds on the box and on the packs? Like, the problem is, is that I, I believe the odds are out, but for a lot of product that you buy or you pre-order, well, I guess it, you wouldn't see it on the box anyway, but you don't see the odds until you actually get it in your hand. You don't really know if, they're, if the odds are good or not, if they're the same as last year, worse than last year. So it kind of sucks that they release the odds after the fact a lot of times. There's another top 100 Mick Abel, number 30. Put the uh, the base up there. Get a little bit better there. All right, we got a first here, Ryan uh, Lasco. All right. So I think that uh, Lunar was in this pack in that last box. Let's see if it, yep, it's going to be the same collation of the Lunars at least. All right, and we've got Chase Davis. So he was a big guy in Bowman Draft, I believe, uh, for the Cardinals. He was their second rounder. Aiden Miller, he's a big guy, I think, right, in the uh, for the Phillies. And he, there's another one. So the, the Nationals have two guys that are pretty good. Obviously, Dylan Cruz even though I guess he's struggling, right, from what I hear. But that guy also for the, for the Nationals is kind of like their, their, their 1B type prospect. All right, let's see what we can get here. Heston Kerstad on the uh, Rookie of the Year favorites. Cool. Uh, Burroughs, this, this is a guy that has a lot of power. I was reading about him uh, for the White Sox organization and Elijah Green. Yeah, Burroughs, I was hearing, uh, he's the guy for the White Sox on, on this checklist, and he's got a lot of power. <clears throat> I forget what it was, what the uh, website was that I was looking at, but it basically breaks down literally every player. It's pretty cool. I just can't remember the uh, what the site was. Uh, Harry Ford there, number 25 on the top 100. I'd be cool with a, yeah, there's Aiden Smith, Jackson Holiday. that's cool. Uh, I'd be okay with a paper. Auto. There's some pretty good names on the paper uh, autograph checklist. All right, let's see what else we can get here. Mike Trout. Oh, okay, we got a uh, a green paper here, numbered to 99. That's a rookie of Heston Kerstad. That's pretty cool. That's nice, a green pattern or something. Uh, what is that even? What is that pattern? I don't know. It's interesting. But green. That's. I think. Are these? Are the greens? Blaster exclusive? I'm not sure. They oh, they might be. They look way too similar to the Lunars, though, this year, greens. So that, that might be a little interesting. But yeah, 97 and 99, that's pretty cool. Put them up there. Oh, got to finish the pack here. There's another one of these inserts, Henry Davis. That's pretty cool. All right. Last pack here. All right. See what else we can get. There's a uh, power prospect power up of Jackson Holiday. That's pretty cool. Like that. Obviously, we all know that he came up and didn't do so well. Got sent back down, and now can't hit the ball in AAA again, which is kind of interesting. So I guess we'll see what happens with him. I'm, I kind of uh, liquidated a lot of my Jackson Holiday inventory uh, right when he got called up. So oops. So uh, oh god, that's gonna fall over. It's because I have all the. Uh, chromes here i'm gonna start a new stack actually two boxes is good enough let's move that over let's start a new stack yeah those are not gonna stay i'm just gonna start the new stack there that that one chrome is uh kind of bowed out got the chrome bow the bowman and tops chrome bow do it all right let's see if we can get a uh chrome parallel fractor parallel i mean or an autograph that'd be great too definitely take that uh one second i gotta push this garbage file down all right here we go
There we go. Also looking for those hidden gems. I believe they put those back in these as well. Again, let's, let's actually move this off to the side. We'll start the new pile. Top 100, uh, Jahendri Vargas. He was in Chrome last year, I believe. Bowman Chrome. Alan Castro. Alan Castro, yeah. Jesu Dipala. Nice. Okay. So far, just the Heston Curse dad to 99. Here comes our Lunar. Ellie rookie, that's nice. Take that for sure. And it's going to be uh, Valdez. So still not a first on the uh, on the Lunar. I Last year's Bowman, you I know you, you, you got one Lunar, again, per box, per, per blaster. But uh, I remember getting a lot a lot of firsts out of it. Hardly any non-firsts, so I don't know. I don't know if that's telling or not. It's just a bad bad run of them. Here's going to be our Rookie of the Year favorite. Seems like it's uh, quite a bit of the same collation here. Uh, Ronnie Mauricio, very nice. Take that from my collection, my Mets collection. Jacob Gonzalez, Luis Guapa or something. All right. There we go. Got uh, an autograph. There we go. Okay. So we got our a Chrome autograph. It's on card, Chrome autograph. It's not a paper. It is uh, Travis Soroka. Uh, don't know anything about him. Probably one of the uh, D tier prospects. Uh, pitcher born in 04. Damn. Jesus, that's young. Uh, third round pick of the Nationals. Actually, third round, 71st overall. Okay. So that's uh, not terrible. Definitely take that. Obviously, he's a pitcher. So that that's a ding on it. But yeah, got an autograph. So all of a sudden, this is basically already about the same as a hobby box would be. Except we got more Lunars. We got one, you know, parallel and an autograph. So it's essentially what those uh, what those hobby boxes are going to be for 300 bucks. So let's see if we can pull another uh, autograph, though. Still got two boxes after this left. see what we got going on oh we got a uh, another parallel here it's gonna be uh, Robert Callis actually or yeah that's a good one he's he's the uh, the guy to get for um, for Colorado uh, 175 that's a pink or fuchsia paper that's nice definitely take that for sure he's uh, he's the main guy I believe for Colorado this year just take a look at his uh, uh, yeah he's a Born in 05, very young. Um, yeah. I don't think he's made his professional debut. I think they he's still in the uh, International League. Dominican. Marco Luciano there. Luis Angel Acuna for the Mets. I like that they have him in the Mets uniform now. That's nice. All right. I wonder if there's going to be like hot boxes like there was last year. Uh, hot blaster boxes as well. well. That'd be interesting to know. Uh, prospect power ups. That's Samuel Zavala there. Dylan Cruz first. Nice. Take that for sure. All right. There's three boxes down. Let's get on to box number four here. One box after this. Let's see if we can get another autograph. Maybe a green autograph. I believe, I don't know if the green papers or green. Uh, Chromes are exclusive to blasters, but I believe green autographs are. Maybe green shimmer autographs. I don't know. I just remember something green being exclusive to uh, to blasters. I'm sure it says it on the box somewhere, probably. I don't know. Guess we'll see. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. Juan Soto there. Pretty cool. I don't think there's image variations or anything like that in this product. Tink Hens, number 28. <clears throat> Six packs. I think that's a good amount for Bowman Blasters. Yamamoto, nice. All right, there we got our first, our first first lunar. That's going to be John Cruz. Don't know much about him. Don't think he's one of the big guys for the Yankees. Lombard is right. Oh, just free agent. Signed as yeah, so wasn't drafted or anything. Uh, Ty Pete, Xavier Isaac was that? Uh... Jet Williams, okay, I like that look of that card. That'll be going in my collection. Well, I've gotten a bunch of uh, bunch of stuff that I've bought for my Jet Williams and um, Kevin Parada collections that I'll have to show off at some point too. There's another Ellie. All right, rookie of the year favorites, Austin Wells, nice. 
All right, Cheerio there. That was nice. Cheerio, Jackson Cheerio. Is he still good? I actually haven't been following him too much. Um, has he still been doing okay? He started out pretty hot. I know because I'm a Mets fan, and their first series was against the Mets, and yeah, he did pretty good. All right. What do we got here? We got uh, Roman Anthony, number 23. Nunez, Anthony again. Right, two more packs here. Let's see if we can pull something out of our uh, you know. Hey, that's a nice card. It's a nice looking one right there. Ellie on the uh, whatever this is called. I'm actually going to sleeve that one up right now just because that is a very shiny card that could get scratched easily if th other things are bumping up against it. So definitely going to get that in a uh, sleeve and a top loader. Man, this card's very bowed out. That's a cool looking one, though. I'm going to put that one right there. I like what that looks like. All right. Last pack here. Got into some uh, Bowman breaks that'll be going on tomorrow with uh, the breaker that I like to go with. Um, oh, we got something red here. We got a red lava something. Let's save that. That's going to be interesting. All right. <laughs> Get through those quickly. Let's see what this is. Red Lava, Giants, Maui Ahuna, three of five. Wow. Okay, I didn't even know that you could get reds in this. That's pretty cool. It would be better if it was a first, but man, I will take that. I don't think he's one of, he's, he, I, I think he, he was Bowman last year first. Uh, not really sure if he's a big guy or not. I don't think he was. I think he was in draft. Was he in draft? Wow, but still, to get a red, Red Lava. Wow, that's sick. Three of five. Cool. All right, last box here. Guys, again, like I'm saying, there's never a reason, I don't think, to get a hobby box for 300 bucks. If they were 200 I would say, yeah, it might be worth it because you are guaranteed that autograph and maybe it's worth fifty bu the extra 50 bucks from a, from getting five blasters um, to pick up the hobby box to guarantee yourself that auto. But, I mean, at 300 and then... What the the jumbos are what like five hundred five fifty something like that? It's just I mean guys yeah you gotta go blasters with Bowman. I don't know why they make it so obvious that you shouldn't ever buy. There's Parada that's pretty cool that you should, pretty much should never buy the uh, the hobby versions of this. Of course, getting a red is not going to be typical, but out of five blasters, if if last year was any indication from Bowman you're likely to get an autograph out of five blasters for 150 bucks. So you got Max Wagner on the Lunar there. Let's see what else we can get. Maybe we get another autograph here. Who knows? He's going to be our Rookie of the Year favorites here. Coming up. Yep. Uh, Shanuel. Like that one. That's cool. I'll put that one here. Same freaking color. It's hard to <laughs> differentiate. All right. I haven't really been paying attention to the firsts. I, I mean, I was planning on going back through this and picking out the uh, the good firsts and the chromes and stuff and sleeving them up. There's another Ellie. Looks like we got a green shimmer autograph of Anthony Baptist. Nice. Two autographs there. And for my Mets here, AB signs it. AB, this is 87 to 99. These, these are what I'm talking about. The green shimmers. Those are exclusive to blasters or maybe not even blasters, just uh, retail. I'm sure there's gonna be uh, I'm sure there's gonna be like fat packs and stuff like that, retail packs. Uh, Green Shimmer, autograph. I don't think he's anybody special. Uh, super young, but uh, don't think he's anybody special. But still, I mean, <laughs> another autograph. Definitely take it. Cam Collier. All right. Maybe we maybe we can get a hot box here and get another autograph. Who knows? I doubt it, but <laughs> there's a Jackson Holiday on that insert there. That's pretty cool. And last pack here. Last pack of the five boxes. I'm definitely going to be picking up more of this. Definitely more of the blasters. They're just too good. They're the best version of this for sure. Like, there's no question. There's another uh, power. Oh, this is going to fall over. Power-up prospect of uh, Aiden Miller there. Pretty nice. Some of them look like they're blue parallels, but I guess they're not. They're, they're just kind of matching the team color a little bit. And 
there we go. That's it, guys. So that was pretty good for five boxes, 150 bucks worth of blasters here. Uh, obviously, we got our five uh, Lunars, only one first, which, um, you know, hopefully that could get better in the future. Uh, all these inserts here, obviously, uh, you know, you're not going to get this many inserts in a hobby box. We got uh, the Ellie on this uh, insert here. I'm not sure. Bowman AI, that's what it is. Bowman AI, there you go. Oh, AI, okay. And then on the parallels here, we got two papers. We got a Robert Callis, which is pretty cool. He's one of the top guys for um, Colorado to 175 on the uh, Fuchsia. We got a green pattern of Heston Kerstad, rookie to 99, and an unbelievable red lava refractor three of five of maui ahuna pretty cool there and autographs we got uh two autographs out of our five boxes uh travis soroka here on the base autograph and anthony baptist uh green shimmer to 99 so overall pretty happy with that and i will definitely be buying more boxes i mean you're not getting this out of a hobby box you might get one chrome one paper and an autograph this is what you're likely to get, these three cards right here. No, well, actually not. But let's just say that that's like a, a regular lava to $3.99. This is what you're likely to get <laughs> out of a hobby box. So um, definitely worth the investment if you're going to go into some Bowman to get some blasters. So that's it. We're at 21 minutes here, 22, coming up on 22. So, uh, yeah, next time I get some uh, some product, I'll definitely be opening it up on, on camera here again. Uh, just haven't been getting much stuff lately. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Thanks for watching.